I know they're gonna hate me for this. <sighs> they look pretty, don't they? Yeah. Welcome if you're just visiting me for the first time. Ah, a huge welcome. Love it. Please subscribe. Please hit the button. So, as you guys know, on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So, I'll leave you some tips. Let's do this. For leather, leather, real, genuine leathers, I love leather. I consider myself a leather lover and I have tried both faux leather as well as real leather. I've even, I've even tried the ones like this. Mm, let me just fix this. Like this piece, it's actually not leather, but it looks like leather because it's coated with something to mimic the look of leather. Guys, yeah, there's no doubt I am a leather enthusiast. I am obsessed with leather and it's my main material that I wear every winter. Yes, I love leather. I cannot lie. And I have them in almost every color that you could think of. This, ah, oh, I love this style so much that I bought it in the black and the navy blue. And guys, I've styled them up for you over the years because it's, it's just me. Also styled this oh, this was a favorite of mine and I used the past tense and you would see why just now This piece, it's still going. But again, we don't know how long it's gonna last. Guys, oh my God. This was one of my go-to pieces that I just love pulling out. I've even taken it to my country. There's also this piece. It looks like a negligee, but it's actually leather and it's it's one of those thick leather. But again, we'll get to that shortly. And of course there's this. This piece, guys. I don't think I've even worn this piece out. This belongs. 
belongs to this. Guys, look at this. Is that what you want? Seriously, do you want to waste your money for this? It's plastic. When you're walking, you literally have to pick up after yourself. It's not cute. Yeah. It's not like when your mom tell you pick up after yourself. No, you're literally and those are the big pieces I just dropped on the ground. These are the tiny, the tiny pieces. These are the microplastics that eventually would end up somewhere, somehow, in the waterways. Yeah. Yeah. These are not even micro. You could see these. So it looks good, right? They are definitely eye-catching pieces. Well, yeah. I haven't gotten my cosplay away because I went in to bring it out this year and this is what's been happening to it. And I know some people are going to say it was improperly stored. No, no. Yes, it was at the back and it was snugged in between some others but the rest survive the rail leather and other ones survive why didn't this survive because it's faux leather and this is the reason why I am advocating that you do not ever buy faux leather because it doesn't matter what they call it whether it's faux it's oh it's faux leather it sounds so cute yeah, you wouldn't even think that within one or two days it would start deteriorating. It would start falling apart. It would start dropping stuff on the floor behind you that you actually have to walk and pick up. Yeah, it would actually start shedding so much that you have to be peeling plastic off your body. And what I've noticed this season is that so many top tier influencers are promoting, whether it's the faux leather line or it's faux leather from other companies such as Urban Revival. I've done, I have done a review of Urban Revival before and I don't care how they spin it yeah it it does nothing to revive me nothing guys we have to face the reality that no matter how you try to market a material you could created in one of the most beautiful style because I have seen so many beautiful jackets, skirts, blazers in faux leather and it doesn't matter whether it's very thick or it's thin. The fact remains that if it is faux leather, it's not going to get any better. It's going to become these. Yeah. You have seen what happened 
the pieces do not last and they are expensive they they cost a good amount of coins I know the top tier influencers they're gonna hate me for this but they are sitting down or standing up or showcasing highlighting their fabulous pieces pieces that you have to go run and put in your cart do not sleep on it pieces that they're telling you that they are just amazing and it's the trend of the season so you should run and get it before it sells out they are lying to you again it's for leather it's not gonna last it deteriorates you you won't even get like two good wears two season wear out of it admittedly these days there are some for leathers that are not made from plastic there are leathers that are now being made from cactus from pineapple from apple and other plant-based materials Absolutely, I love that. And Stella McCartney, and there's another, I think it's Sampler, and another footwear company, they have been doing, they have been making waves and creating really marvelous pieces that are just absolutely stunning and commendable because they have been looking for alternative of these plastic guys it's there's a reason because not only is polyurethane which is another name for faux leather polyamide polyester that's the name for faux leather it does not last do not waste your money learn from my mistake I've tried it for you. It doesn't work. So, I cannot sit here with a straight face and let you go out there and buy the latest dress, the latest skirt. They look great. They, they look amazing. But they're not going to last. You're going to be embarrassed by them. Just the same way these pieces embarrass me yeah so guys yes don't tell the top tier influencers I'm telling you this because they don't want to tell you they want the coins but while they have their job to do which is essentially in many instances lying or not divulging information about their products because when you're selling a product not only should you tell me quite clearly what the materials are but you should tell me the life cycle of this type of material tell me about the company is the company going to be responsible for actually creating a space where these materials could be disposed responsibly are ah, they responsible for the end of the life cycle of these materials? Or oh, when I look on the website of these people, they have nothing in terms of circular fashion, circularity, in terms of repair, in terms of disposal, nothing. So here you are stuck with a product that you're going to end up throwing in the garbage from two wares. I'm here to help you guys and I hope that while I don't care if you want to go ahead and say that this small influencer thinks she has a voice on this YouTube platform that she should somehow be out there preventing interrupting your life or your money stream I'm not interrupting your money stream. I'm just telling them the truth that you are omitting. When you omit information, when you don't say that this material, while it's gorgeous, to be honest, it's not going to last you for a long time, no matter how thick it is. Yeah, some people would say maybe, maybe your 
item you know, for leather because leathers do come in different grades for or real and yes some for leathers are thinner and more low grade materials that is indeed true regardless I've shown you the thick one this is very thick yet this is what's happening to it yeah it doesn't matter and I'm oh my gosh it's 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 shedding so much look guys if you just shake it look I don't know if you could see that it's just yeah Guys, polyurethane and polyamide and polyesters, they are not the materials for you. If you want to get your cosper wear, if you are in any way uncomfortable about the impact that these materials have on the environment. And the interesting thing is that this particular influencer that has brought out her line with four leathers this particular influencer that has also been highlighting companies with four leathers they know better they do i know they know but conveniently at times they just tend to turn a blind eye because unfortunately many of them choose profit over planet i'm not here to do that to you i cannot sit back and know the truth and hide it because i've tried for leather because i thought it was the right thing to do and many companies will try to sell you the narrative that if you use for leather it's more ethical most often Unless you're sorting companies such as Hermes that has a farm that you, they just raise alligators and crocodiles, the exotic leathers, just solely for the bags. Most leathers, and I hope that you would, you would investigate and educate yourself on this before you buy. Please ensure that when you're buying leathers, that you're buying them from companies that get their leathers as a byproduct of the meat industry. Even Zara does it at times. And it's far from being sustainable. It's fast fashion to the core. My goodness, the influencers are out there really influencing you guys. And they are actually selling pieces or advertising promoting partnershiping with companies with materials that are definitely not gonna they're not gonna work for you after three or four wears and yes some may say i've had my full leather for five ten years and it, it, please do not be influenced by that narrative because many times they actually don't even wear them often they don't but guys i'm here to tell you the truth my advice is to buy second hand there are so many amazing pieces out there guys most of my leather items are almost brand new that have stood the test of time that i've worn for many years so i could attest to that so i hope that i have enlightened you in some way i hope that the top tier influencers do not hate me you're doing your job I cannot sit back and not do mine. So this is why I'm doing this. No offense to you. You guys are lovely people. And I wish you all the best or continued success. Because 
what you're selling is actually what many people are, are being influenced by. Oftentimes, we are very gullible, but at the same time, my platform is here to educate, to inform, and with a little bit of entertainment as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned something, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye.